Hey, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today we're gonna learn how to complete this buffalo plaid stitch using the half double crochet. Now I feature this in my buffalo plaid twist headband. And this the video for this is gonna be up shortly on YouTube. And once it is, I'll include a link for it in the description below. But there are many other projects where you could use this buffalo plaid stitch. So let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post new videos. Also, find us on Facebook and Instagram, as well as Twitter. So to begin the buffalo plaid stitch, every buffalo plaid pattern is going to need a combo of a dark hue of a color, a medium hue of a color, and a light hue of a color. So the traditional buffalo plaid has black for the dark, maroon for the medium, and red for the light. I've done other combinations where I've had black, navy, and blue, or black, forest green, and green, black, gray, and white. It just depends on the color scheme that you want to use. So for today's tutorial, I'm just going to use black, maroon, and red for my colors. Now the first thing you need to do is kind of get organized on your table. A really big uh, key to success with the buffalo plaid stitch is yarn management. So I do this by placing my my light, my maroon, and my black on my table. Now I put maroon in the middle because it's the color I'm going to use the most. It gets carried from row to row. So if you look at my example here, maroon is in this row, but it's also in this row. We're going to alternate black and maroon and maroon and red as we go across. So that's why I put maroon in the middle because I use it almost the entire way through my stitches. So you're gonna follow whatever your project says. Right here, I just have a foundation single crochet set of 12. The buffalo plaid stitch needs sets of four for each section. So there's four here and four here with two rows of each. And I'll show you what I mean by this. But you have to have it divisible by four, basically. So I have 12 here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to chain one and turn. Now my turn here is a real subtle move, just going from this oops, to this. So now what we need to do is we're gonna place three full black half double crochets here in the first three stitches. So remember for a half double crochet, I'm gonna yarn over. Now I'm gonna go into this hole right here for my first stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through till I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. That completes one half double crochet. If you need to see how to do the half double crochet in slower, more detailed instructions, I'm gonna include a link for a video in the description below and you can check that out. Now I'm gonna go and do a second half double crochet here in the next stitch, and that's a full one, and we're gonna do one more here. Yarn over and we're gonna go right here. Now I have three full black half double crochets here. Now for the fourth one, because each section is four, I'm going to have a partial black that I finish with maroon and I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna yarn over with the black. I'm gonna go into this stitch here. I'm gonna yarn over with the black and pull through until I have three loops of black on my hook. Now I'm gonna let go of my black yarn and I'm gonna grab onto my maroon. I'm gonna drape the maroon across my hook here, kind of hold it tight and I'm gonna finish this stitch with maroon. So what this looks like, let me tighten everything. So to tighten, I'm gonna to come to the back here, I'm gonna pin it against the work, I'm gonna tighten the black, and then I'm gonna tighten the maroon here and get it onto my hand. So you can see now I've got four full, or I've got four black half double crochets, and even from the top, all of my Vs are in black, so there's one, two, three, four but now I'm ready to go with my maroon for the next four sections. So I'm gonna tighten everything up, tighten. Now this black here, I'm not gonna cut it off. I'm gonna have it right across the top of these stitches here, hidden kind of in the middle. Then that way I don't have a bazillion yarn tails to weave in. So I'm gonna yarn over with maroon. I'm gonna go into this next stitch here. Notice again how my black that I'm carrying across is riding right on top of those stitches. I'm gonna yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. So now again, I'm gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, 
place a full maroon half double crochet. There's two of them. I'm gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch here, pull up. So now I've completed three full maroon half double crochets. Now this fourth one, I again am gonna complete it with the black. So what we do, we yarn over with the maroon, we go into the stitch, I'm gonna pull that black tight here, I'm gonna yarn over with maroon and pull through until I have three maroon loops on my hook. Now I'm gonna drop my maroon, grab my black here and get ready to go with it. Now before I finish this stitch, I like to tighten things. I'm gonna tighten the maroon up, get it ready to go and kind of pinch it in place here. And I'm gonna use my index finger to kind of gently tug on that black to get it tight. And then I'm gonna complete this half double crochet by yarning over with the black and pulling through all three of those maroon. Okay, so now again, before I get going, I'm gonna tighten just again and pin. Now you can see here again, four black, four maroon. So my next section is gonna be black as well. So I'm gonna go yarn over here. Now you can see better how that yarn is getting carried across the top of those stitches. And that's what we want. You won't even hardly see it, and I'll show you what I mean when I finish this here. So there's one black, half double crochet. Here's two, and then here's three. And I can actually do four full black half double crochets here because the next section will be black as well. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into this last space here, yarn over, and complete. Now if you look, you can kind of see that maroon peeking through there, especially on the back. Now how do I get that to disappear? I'm just gonna gently hold on to my work. I'm gonna gently grab onto that maroon and gently tug. And if you notice, that sucks it back into that stitch so you don't see it very easily. So that completes one row of the buffalo plaid. Now usually my half double crochet buffalo plaid stitch is two sections that are exactly the same, or two rows. So I'm gonna chain one with my black and I'm gonna turn. Now before I start anything, I need to take this maroon and I'm gonna push it up here on top of my stitches because it's gonna ride in the middle there. Now I'm gonna yarn over with black I'm gonna go into this spot right here. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna stop and tighten and tighten. Keeping your yarn managed and keeping it tight is really key to this stitch here. I'm gonna yarn over, go into this space here with black. So we've got another black. We're gonna do another black stitch here and we're gonna do one more. This one's a partial again. So we're going into this space until we have three loops of black on our hook. Now we're gonna drop the black, pick up the maroon. I'm gonna tighten with the black and then pin it in place with my middle and my thumb. I'm gonna finish that stitch with maroon. Tighten, tighten. Now I'm gonna do a maroon section here. So there's one full maroon and again, my black's riding across the top here. Here's two full maroon. We're gonna go three full maroon half double, double crochets. And then again, the fourth is a partial. I'll get three loops of maroon on my hook. Then I'm gonna tighten, get it on my hand with the black, tighten the maroon, pin it in place, and complete that stitch with black. Tighten again, tighten, now we're gonna do four black half double crochets here. One, two, three. You can kind of see as I'm doing this, how that maroon's just getting taken and put right inside of those stitches. Now this last one here is kind of a slanted stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm just gonna go right into this slant here. You can see if I pick it up, there's the two v legs of the V. So that's what it kind of looks like from the side. Get the maroon on top of the V. And we're gonna complete it with black here. We're gonna tighten and tighten. So that's completed two rows of our buffalo plaid. Each row has four black, four maroon, four black. And then, so that's row one. And then here's row two with four black, four maroon, four black. Now we're gonna bring in our red. Now, before we do that, I like to cut off my black 
just because you can see how our yarn is starting to twist as we go along. And that's gonna to continue to do that each row. Now this is a total personal preference, but I personally like to cut the black off and I'm willing to weave in those ends at the end. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna pull the black out of the way. So now I'm ready to bring in my red. And what we're gonna do here though first is we are going to chain one with our maroon. So we're gonna chain one with the maroon. I like to tighten the loop down here by pulling on the black thread. And now we're gonna turn. So we're gonna place four maroon here on top of the black from the previous row. So we're gonna go yarn over into this space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. We're gonna go a second maroon half double crochet here. And then my third one is gonna be partial, so we're gonna yarn over with maroon. We're gonna go into the stitch. We're gonna yarn over with maroon and pull through until I have three loops on my hook. Now I'm gonna grab my red here. So I'm gonna drape my red on my hook and I'm gonna complete that half double crochet with red. Now I'm gonna pin this yarn tail on the back here with my middle and my index finger. I'm gonna get ready to go with my red by putting it into my hand. I'm gonna tighten with my maroon and kind of get it ready to ride across the top of those stitches. I'm gonna use my index finger to kind of pull back and tighten up on the red as well. Now I'm gonna yarn over with red, go into this space. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pull on that yarn tail, pin it back here, I'm gonna pull on the maroon, and I'm gonna tighten with my index finger here. So I'm gonna yarn over, Go into this space, yarn over, pull through till I have three on the, on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over with red, into the space, yarn over with red, and then yarn over with red. Now the fourth one again, I'm gonna yarn over with red, go into the stitch, yarn over with red till I have three loops of red on my hook, drop the red down, grab my maroon, tighten, and I'm gonna tighten and kind of hold that red in place here. I'm gonna finish that stitch with maroon. Tighten, now I'm gonna yarn over with maroon, go into the stitch, complete my half double crochet. And I can go four full maroon half double crochets here because the next section will be a repeat. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go into that slanted stitch right here and finish with maroon. Now before I go to the next row, I'm gonna pinch right here and gently pull with the red to kind of tug it in. Now I chain one with maroon and my second row is gonna be a nice little repeat here. I'm gonna go maroon, red, maroon. So we're gonna bring the red up. We're gonna push it up on top there. Yarn over with the maroon, go into this hole. Yarn over, pull through till I have three on my hook yarn over, pull through. Stop, pinch your work, tighten the red a little bit. Now we're gonna go maroon again. And one more maroon. Again, noticing how that red's being carried inside of that stitch. Now the fourth one, we yarn over with maroon, go into the stitch, yarn over again with maroon till I have three loops on my hook, drop the maroon, Grab the red and get ready to go, but tighten as well. Grab the maroon with my middle and my thumb, tighten it on down, and finish that stitch with red. So now we're gonna go four red here. Here's one, two, three. My fourth one is a partial again. Till I have three loops on the hook, drop the red, grab the maroon, tighten, tighten, and finish here. Tighten again, tighten again. So really it's yarn management and tightening for this stitch. And we're gonna complete this last section of four maroon here. And then we'll talk about this here. So there's one, two, and I do all four of these maroon here, three, and then four goes into that slanted stitch right here, complete and complete. 
So then the rest of whatever your pattern is, is gonna just be alternating rows one and two with rows three and four all the way up because you go black, maroon, black, maroon, red, maroon. So this next section would be black, maroon, black, all the way through your pattern. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys and you have a lot of success completing the buffalo plaid stitch. I hope you guys have a blessed day.